I grew up on the Trinity River in a small community called Liberty, Texas. And my father was a very interesting man because not only did he have his own engineering firm and it was a civil engineering firm, but he was very involved in water issues and water rights. In fact, um, this is a very nice article that was written by Price Daniel, who was the governor of Texas. And he wrote this when my father passed away in 1969. And he writes that um, as owner of Warren Engineering Company, he planned and engineered many subdivisions and water developments. At the time of his death, he was serving as engineer for the Chambers Liberty County's Navigation District, Dayton and Canal Company, and the City of Liberty on special water projects, which will add much to the prosperity and growth of this area. This is a photograph that was taken of my dad and, and me, one of the last ones. And you can see on our little porch in Liberty, Texas, and I was a young girl, uh, and there he was with his Stetson hat on. Um, but I learned very early on from my dad that water was such an important part of our state, of our communities, of our prosperity. Sometimes Central Texas has been described as a big drought interrupted by an occasional flood. We try to take advantage of those floods or when the rains do come because our Double Heart Ranch in the Texas Hill Country is completely sustained with rainwater and some wells and a bit of surface water. But meet one of our stars of the rainwater collection, this big wonderful tank that holds thousands of gallons of water, which of course we use for our drinking water, for uh, all the things around our home here, and also for animals and for the pets. So it's a wonderful collection system that's based on a very elaborate system that comes off roofs, and all the tanks are collecting, and then they spill into this one. Part of the livelihood of the Double Heart Ranch is a great hay season, when we can get one. And this year has been a great one. So we brought in hay, we have our own hay baling equipment. There is no hay without plenty of water. Well, to borrow a phrase from Bluebell Ice Cream, we sell all we can and eat the rest. So this is precious and uh, we're very excited to see a great crop this year. But it's all because of water. If it hadn't been for the right rain at the right time and then being able to cut the grass and turn it into these big, wonderful, heavy hay bales, uh, we wouldn't have that. So it's all about water, always water. Our goal at the Double Heart Ranch is to eat as much produce as we can from our own garden. Now you think about it, without rain and without abundant water, we would not have a beautiful homegrown tomato like this. Just can't beat them. This is what a beautiful, beautiful field of Tifton grass looks like before we cut it to bale hay. And this is just amazing. <laughs> it is almost up to my waist if I get out in the middle of it. And it's beautiful green grass. And only because we got some tremendous rains this year is this possible. So again, we depend on rainwater. We depend on water to sustain us every day. This is just a beautiful example of what water can do when it's used for the good of all the creatures around us. All of my paintings are accomplished with rainwater. My paintings are shown in galleries from New York City to Santa Fe and to my own gallery right here at the Double Heart Ranch. It all starts here. Every painting is created from the beautiful skies and landscapes and sometimes droughts that we have here at the Double Heart Ranch. Bringing my legacy full circle back to where my dad taught me about the importance of water rights and water usage in the state of Texas, I've carried on that tradition. Uh, as chairman of the Texas Business Leadership Council, it's been one of my initiatives to really raise the issue of water rights, water for all Texans. And this is one of the most important things we all have to learn. It's all of our responsibility to make sure that we pass laws, that we take care of our people in Texas as we grow. How can we grow this great state? without water for everyone. So it's a great, great opportunity for all of us, like our Longhorns teach us here, that water is one of the most important and precious things that we have to protect. 
in addition to being a rancher, I'm an entrepreneur. I spent 30 years in my career building an advertising agency, T3, that became the largest woman-owned agency in the United States. I'm also an artist, and it all starts right here at the Double Heart Ranch. 